Friday, February 22, 2019, 11 a.m. Singapore. This is a video regarding the health of a person, especially an older person. Now, health cannot be taken for granted because you are responsible for your own health. GPs, general practitioners, and even specialists may not take your case seriously as they have so many patients to take care of. So, it's like the waves on this river, there's so many waves and uh, you can't expect particular attention to yourself unless this is your personalized good friend, general practitioner or specialist. Now, a person with gastric pain for so many months, if the general practitioner or your own doctor does not refer you to do further tests then you have to take action yourself because some doctors they will just say that it's due to stress and so you just rest and take some maybe high pressure medication and that's it now gastric pain indicates an ulceration ulceration of the lining of the stomach and uh, if you ignore it the stomach ulceration will get deeper and deeper and has it progress day by day month by month it becomes harder to cure or to treat. In the end, you may lose your stomach because the doctor may have to cut off a portion of the stomach as the ulcers may be too deep and may perforate to, to cause all the contents of the stomach to spill onto your internal body. That would be instant death from peritonitis or emergency surgery so this person whose doctor had always prescribed rest and more rest and doesn't even do a gastroscopy i would say this doctor is professionally not interested or negligent to send the patient for specialized examination, even fluoroscopy or gastroscopy and uh, as you can see the boat disappearing into the under the bridge by the time the boat has disappeared it will be too late the person may just pass away due to perforated gastric ulcer of course for older person there's always a danger of gastric polyps and cancer so it's up to the individual to really go for the test and after the test let's assume there is gastric cancer that has spread then it's up to the person whether he wants to opt for chemo or not but if you don't go for the test then it's very difficult for your family as well when you go in for the emergencies due to the intense pain so I would say if you have gastric pain you shouldn't delay going and see the specialist or even a second opinion of a specialist because it's not a laughing matter you can't talk to anybody you can't go for your daily quality of life living 
you can't do anything. You just sit down in your in your on your in your home and just rest. And if this is a few times, then your doctor needs to be changed to give a better second opinion or third opinion. So for for this instance of my friend whom I have known for over 20 years, he has responsibility. He has two daughters to to uh, train and and be around for them. So there's, there is a heavy reliance on this physician, which I think is enough. And uh, you can see when you are young, like these two ladies, you can always procrastinate. But if you are really into your 60s, you can't, you can't delay further and uh, as you can see, these are the young people who can travel. Now, now you can't even get out of your bed and talk to anybody or even talk to me. So this is really serious. Don't wait till the boat has disappeared under the bridge and then you'll be too late to recover your health. Therefore, go and do your second and third opinions and don't rely on the doctor because some doctors, they diagnose superficially. For example, there was a woman with ovarian cancer. She has stomach ache and the doctor prescribed gastric pills, painkillers. By the time she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer, it was too late for her. I met her on a, on, a, on one of my travels overseas, and uh, that time she was traveling, I guess, to uh, to spend some last years of her life. After after the travel, I follow up. She was she had passed away. So I think for this old friend of mine, there are many stories, even my brother-in-law, who was prescribed high blood pressure medication for many years, just simply increased the dosage, even though the blood pressure was not controlled. And uh, in the end, he had kidney failure. But uh, before his kidney failure, there was a younger doctor, a GP, in his company who suspect something different. It was an adrenal gland tumor. And uh, by the time he had many years of high blood pressure medication and his kidney was damaged, they removed the adrenal gland tumor. But uh, he, he uh, suffered kidney failure later. So if he had gone for second opinion instead of just trusting his company GP who just prescribed pills, high blood pressure pills and more pills for many years. I'm sure his kidneys will be still around. And uh, for kidney patients, for kidney failure patients, they need dialysis and uh, the outcome will be a shorter life. But uh, for this brother-in-law, he did have a kidney transplant and his life was now, or is now back to normal. He can travel now and uh, eat what he likes after the kidney transplant, but still he has to be careful because he's on medication and uh, that is life. So when you're young, at 30 to 40, just be proactive in caring for your health because nobody will do it for you except yourself. I will end now. This is the explanation where the tourists are. LT as you can see, and uh, they can travel. 
so don't hang yourself on the bed due to gastric pain and not be able to even talk to a friend or your, your daughters. Take care and I will end now. Singapore advices for your own health from me, Dr. Singh, Dong Yen from Topaya Vets.